You know, excessive underarm sweating is the worst. <laughs> and it's really bad when you're going to work and you have a white t-shirt underneath your dress shirt and it does nothing for you. And you're actually soaking through your pits, through the white t-shirt, through your dress shirt, and everyone can see it. And you have to do that weird, awkward thing where you're just trying to keep your arms at your sides the whole day. And it's just miserable. You excuse yourself to the restroom and pat yourself down with paper towels and a horribly, horribly embarrassing uh, situation. And, you know, it can seem like there's no hope. But the fact is there are a lot of things you can try to stop excessive underarm sweat on a permanent or long-term basis. Um, you know, there are a lot of things you can try on your own if you don't want to visit a doctor right away. I do recommend you speak with a dermatologist, but there are things you can try on your own. And some of the treatments for severe underarm sweating, they do include surgery and Botox injections and oral medications and iontophoresis and a whole bunch of other stuff. The medical condition is actually called axillary hyperhidrosis, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, some people also experience palm, facial, and, and foot sweating. Uh, here are some tips on how you can stop excessive underarm sweat on your own. Now the first one's going to kind of throw you for a loop, but it does work for some people. Now, you shouldn't just use any deodorant or soap. Some hygiene products contain chemicals that might not be compatible with your skin, and these chemicals will irritate your underarms, and you know they may make the problem worse. So scented products in particular they can cause chemicals. I'm not going to say they always contain, even though it says here, um, and that can cause irritation. When you, you're choosing a deodorant, I recommend you choose a deodorant that's high in aluminum chloride. That's the active ingredient that actually blocks your pores from sweating. Uh, you want to look for a deodorant that has, uh, it depends on the degree of sweating. Start with a minimum of 10 to 15 percent aluminum chloride. I recommend dry salt, certain dry. Uh, those work very well and uh, give that a shot. Uh, this is obvious. You want to avoid hot liquids including coffee because it contains caffeine, any type of soup or any kind of spicy stuff. Um, you know, recognize that when your body temperature rises you're going to sweat more and caffeine is going to raise your blood pressure, um, raise your heart rate and speed up your body. So if you're addicted to caffeine in the morning you're gonna have to let that habit go. If you're overweight, try losing some weight. See if it makes a difference. Usually that'll help a little bit. Um, you might not like doing this, but on hot days, I recommend you take cold showers. Um, I like to do something in the morning. It's I, I like to call it the uh, it's like a cold shower blast, where I basically start out my shower with regular warm to hot water. Towards the very end of the shower, you know, I'll turn the the temperature all the way down cold. So when I get out, it prevents that like. You know that, that thing when you're getting dressed and you're sweating while you're getting dressed? This totally knocks that out. It prevents it. Now, granted, you're kind of giving yourself a shock of a cold shower for like a minute or two, but it does totally work. Um, and if that's too much for you, if you have like an ice bag in the freezer or something like that, and, and this isn't a joke, you can actually fill up a couple of bags of ice and rock them just under your arms for a little bit in the morning. Do whatever you have to do. Lower your body temperature um, so that you sweat a little less. Um, you can drink sage tea every single day. Sage tea works really well. It's a natural astringent, and it is the one hot liquid you can drink if you want. Sage is an herb. It's been used in the treatment of hyperhidrosis uh, naturally for centuries. Um, you can actually rub the sage tea like directly on your underarms if you want, but start with drinking the tea. It works pretty well. Uh, avoid alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes. Um, all of these things are going to raise body temperature. Um, you know, if you have an addiction problem, <laughs> that's probably a bigger problem than sweating but it's time to kick it um, and yeah you don't want to wear nylons or polyesters uh, they're not very breathable stick with cottons things like that loose shirts um, and yeah one way around that you know if you have to wear a dress shirt wear the cotton shirt underneath and uh, in combination with the recommendations I made above you know you should sweat less you shouldn't experience that sweating through the uh, cotton shirt onto your dress shirt, especially if you're using an aluminum chloride deodorant, uh, which I do recommend. I recommend you keep the underarm shaved. Um, even if you're a dude, uh, keep it trim. It's easy for sweat and bacteria to accumulate in there. Without the hair, you're going to sweat less and you'll certainly smell less if, if you are sweating because it won't get trapped in the hair. Um, and yeah, so give that a shot and I have 12 really great tactics you should check out 
at my site um, in a free video. It's about 45 minutes long. It's called Sweat Free Tactics. Um, you can get it right now. It has 12 uh, other treatments that I highly recommend. The video has been getting a lot of really good feedback. Uh, check it out now, www.prevent-sweating.com. Take care. Bye-bye.